In the spring of 1898, God's Hill Social Settlement opened its doors with a vision of a better world. As the 20th century began, God's Hill's Lower West Side community was populated, as it is now, by immigrants. Then, they were mostly Poles, Czechs, Italians, and Germans who journeyed thousands of miles to make a new life. Once in Chicago, they faced back-breaking labor, fueling the city's growth, but they came home to dark, crowded tenements. Their children went without food and education, spending many hours in the streets. God's Hill offered a place where families could be safe and unified. Children could grow healthy and strong, and parents could build for the future. Over the years, the Lower West Side community continued to evolve as new groups came seeking opportunity. Particularly, the Pilsen neighborhood is now a center of Mexican culture in Chicago. As the community changed, God's Hill Center stood firm in its commitment to serve children and families in greatest need. When I worked here, this God's Hill area was known as a port of entry, meaning that this is where immigrants came, and this is where immigrants uh, became adjusted, did all kinds of things, got a better job, got a better education. They took the kids in, worked with the kids, and they had a seniors club. So they ran the full range, uh, working with the families. Uh, in some cases, uh, English is a second language. That looking forward is really, I think, paramount with, with Gads Hill. I first became familiar with Gads Hill Center when I was in grammar school. I attended St. Pius uh, Elementary School, which is about four blocks away from here, and every week, uh, St. Pius would bring their children here for gym. From early on, from first grade uh, all the way through, I mean, I, I learned that Gads Hill was a safe place to go. I learned that once we were inside the fences of Gads Hill, we were safe. All the bad elements were sort of kept out. Later on, as the years went by, I realized that, I, yeah, I, I felt safe there, but at the time, I wasn't thinking I'm going there because I think I'm, I'm going to be safe. Marin was a tutor at the Teen Connection program. She helped me through my whole uh, college applications and all that. Having that female mentor just help you through not only school but personal issues as well. If you have. Coming to get so it opens your eyes to that. So I, that's why I came back to help volunteer because I know that there's children that need it. Not only help with homework but also so they know that there's children that were in the program before come back and then this is what, how, what they became, that you can do whatever you want. I'm proud of what those kids have done. It's not because I have pushed them or we have pushed them in one direction or another. It is that they did that on their own. I believe Gads Hill had an impact on, on who I am today. Clearly, I, they helped keep me basically, as you say, off the streets. Because coming to Gatso, that's when I knew that there's people out there who are willing to help you. That you're not alone in the world. You have others that could help you, so you could help others as well. I am really proud to be part of the history of immigration at Gats Hill Center. I know that I stand on the shoulders of giants, people who built this organization for 120 years. So we welcome anyone to participate with us, to partner with us, and continue to building a strong and inclusive Chicago.